Hello, I'm so honored to be able to interview you today, Pamela Carroll. I've been looking forward to this, especially to the opening of your show, Fresh, Fresh Produce. Um, I'm told that you drew very well from an early age. Uh, tell us how you came to become an artist. Well, I think I started drawing probably at dogs when I was about six years old. And it was always really important for me to get things to look as real as possible. So I started that from a young age. And is it true that you absorbed more from looking through art books in the library Abs than, than yeah. formal training? Absolutely. I'm self-taught and books, contemporary artists today are, are a huge influence. I mean, we have David Laguerre in the area. He's a big influence. And I have other artists, Alan McGee, Daniel Sprick, those I do know them all, and uh, so I'm very influenced by the early Dutch masters yes. and the contemporary artists of today that paint realism. Well, about a year ago, I thought um, I would paint a whole show of eight by 10 paintings, and uh, that's what I did, and I chose fruit and vegetables and, and uh, just what was in season. So if you don't see any pumpkins in this group, it's because they weren't ripe yet. Anyway, it's, um, I also had a collaboration with a, a very fine frame maker, and that's Klaus Lopel. And uh, we came up with this frame, and he built these gorgeous frames that are gold gilded in white. And uh, it's a huge part of my show. When I view your work, Pamela, I feel like I can reach out and pick something out of the composition. They, all of the objects look so real. Now that's a big part of why I paint uh, from life, because I want the viewer to feel like they have a connection to my work and want to reach out and maybe pick something up. Or eat something. And, or eat something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that is kind of my goal. And to, you know, some of my paintings are nostalgic and maybe it harkens back to something in someone's life, reminds them of a good time, a good memory. Um, I don't think that very many people realize that the Carmel Art Association, which recently turned 93 years old, uh, is responsible for over 70% of California's most distinguished art history. What year you juried in to become a member of this very legendary association, and how do you feel you fit into its legacy? Well, I've been a member of the, of the Art Association for over 20 years, and it's been an amazing experience for me. I love it. Not only are we a family of artists, the history of the Art Association is truly remarkable, as you said. Um, and I just look forward to the day that we're open again. And, uh, amen. Yeah, amen. And give our community and uh, our visitors a chance to view some extraordinary art by individual artists. We're truly a family here. We love our gallery. It's beautiful. We're open to the public by private appointment. Just call the number that we'll be putting on the screen and ask for a specific day and time. Right now, we're offering these appointments on Thursdays through Mondays.